Hello, um, this is a video about the uh, Acer ZC605 or specifically the um, Acer AZC605 underscore W. Uh, it's all in one and you uh, go to turn it on and then you see this error which is probably the scariest error you can get on a PC. Uh, it says reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected device and press a key. Quite scary because it seems to suggest that your hard drive has completely failed and that you have lost everything. But you haven't because um, uh, we can fix this. So if I restart it, control alt delete to restart and I'm going to tap delete to go into the BIOS. And here we go. So what we do is to fix this problem, we go to um, authentication and uh, we select secure boot and select that as disabled. And we scoot along to boot options. And at the top there's launch CSM, which is compatibility support module. And we want to do that always. And now if we save and exit setup, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, it works. Um, so yeah, so what happens is that the device loads the BIOS default settings. And this was a Windows 8 machine, which was, oh, hello definitely works, which was downgraded to, um, well, Microsoft quite downgraded, downgraded to Windows 7 Professional, um, which shows the age of this machine. Um, but what we'll do now is I'll restart it and then we'll um, take a look as to uh, why this could have happened and how we can stop it happening again. So we're back in the BIOS and we'll take a look at um, what's probably happened. Uh, as mentioned a minute ago, um, this has a Windows 8 sticker on it. So there's a Windows 8 key in the BIOS. Um, this particular one has Windows 7 Professional on it. Um, so this kind of suggests that um, it was purchased around about the time that Windows 8 was first released and they allowed a sort of a downgrade to Windows 7 Pro because obviously Windows 8 um, wasn't very gratefully received in the, by business channels because nothing worked with it. So Windows 7 Pro was established so if you happen to buy a new machine it would be nice to have the sort of downgrade thing. I say downgrade but it worked so it wasn't really a downgrade uh, just Microsoft called it that. And so this particular machine, uh, the BIOS build date is um, 12th of the 7th, 2012, but the actual machine has a manufacturing mark of 2013 on it, um, which kind of fits with what I've just said. So um, the, the problem is that when the BIOS loads its default settings, um, secure boot becomes enabled and um, the CSM doesn't uh, work it's not enabled uh, it's because it's uh, EUFI BIOS so it supports GPT um, partitions whereas Windows 7 um, is very much a legacy um, operating system that supports MBR so um, although you can there's plenty of guides for this you can install Windows 7 Pro on an EUFI um, BIOS based machine but it is a bit of a faff and it's not the generally the default way to install Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7 tends to get installed with MBRs um, and that's what CSM is for. It's a, a, a function of the EUFI um, BIOS that allows, um, well, it emulates uh, a BIOS environment that Windows 7 would be happy to work with. So what you can see here particularly is that under first boot device it's actually identified the drive and it's also identified the DVD drive as well as a specific device, which it hadn't 
done before. Uh, so with Secure Boot off, that allows you to enable CSM and then the drive gets detected, or rather the partitions on the drive get detected and the machine boots as normal. So um, the key thing here is the default BIOS settings. Um, so if for some reason the machine reverts back to its default save settings, the one that it comes hardwired with, then you get this problem. And that will tend to happen um, normally, that's because the battery has gone flat. Um, and you can verify that by looking at the time um, when you first notice the problem. If the time is something weird, i.e. it's not right, then it's very likely that the BIOS has reverted back to its standard um, settings and hasn't remembered the settings that, that were saved. So that's how to fix the problem and uh, what the fault generally revolves around. Um, that's the end of this particular video. I'm going to do a separate video um, where I take this apart and part of that will be to swap the battery over, which is what I'm going to do as a fix for this particular machine. Um, so uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description for this one. Um, so if you found this useful because it fixed your problem and resurrected your drive and meant that you didn't lose everything, um, then that's great. Um, like the video, subscribe, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.